Okay. Shh. We're going to have now, we're going to look now at arc length. Okay. What is an arc on a circle? How would we describe an arc on a circle? Because we kind of know what it is, but how would we describe it with words? It's a section of the circumference. So in this particular case I'm talking about here, I'm talking about this arc, which has a length L. And for this, uh, I'm going to call it a triangle, bloody hell. The radius is R, and the angle that is subtended, which is at the middle, is theta. Now, if I wanted to find out how long this was here, how would I find the length of this arc if everything was in degrees? How would I find it if it was in degrees? You do the circumference divided by 360, and then if you divide it by 360, you would have just got a tiny little bit of the circumference. And times it by? Not by L, no. By theta, because we want theta out of 360. We want that fraction of the circle, and the circle's circumference is 2 pi r. However, I've written this down. I don't want you using this. This is like GCSE. We won't be using this formula anymore. So you can, like, you can say hi to it and then say bye pretty quick, because we're going to use it to go to something new. Okay. This is when the arc length is measured in degrees. If the arc length is measured in, sorry, not if the arc, arc length is measured in radians, if the angle that's at the middle is measured in radians, the formula for the arc length becomes really, really simple. If this is uh, the radius and theta and L, I've said from before, we know that one radian gives an arc of one radius in length. So theta radians must give a length of it would be yeah it would be theta if the radius is 1 the arc length would be the radius multiplied by theta because this is already in radians now i'm not going to just ask you to believe me here i'm going to try and show you with a conversion about why this formula works that so the arc length is just how long radius is multiplied by the angle in radians. And what we're doing is we're converting from degrees to radians. So we're going to use this thing that we did earlier to convert this formula from degrees to radians. So the arc length is equal to, I want to change this theta from degrees to radians. Now to do that, I divide it by pi and I multiply it by 180. So can you see how I've replaced theta with this new expression to change it from degrees to radians, but I'm still going to divide it by 360, and I'm going to multiply it by 2 pi r. Now, this does look kind of messy, but we'll be able to sort out some things that are going on here. So 180 divided by 360 is a half. So I have theta over pi multiplied by a half. That's the only thing that I've changed, multiplied by 2 pi r. Can you spot any things that will be cancelling out here? The pi is cancelling and the 2 is cancelling. So all I'm left with is theta multiplied by 1 multiplied by r. So the arc length is r theta. Okay? And that kind of makes sense with what the definition was. Because we said, <laughs> we said that whatever the angle at the middle was was the same as the angle, the arc length multiplied by the radius. Because when we did circles that were like, they had a radius of one, and we said, oh, well, somewhere over here, that distance is pi, and so the angle is pi. So they're all related to the arc length. That's why this formula looks so simple. So if you ever see a question like this in the exam, I do not want to see you ever doing anything like this. Because what you would have to do is convert it from radians to degrees and then use this messy formula rather than just being like, cool, I know this formula. It's just the arc length is the radius multiplied by the angle. Simple. Okay? You would not have to derive that in the exam. No, you would not have to derive that in the exam. So please make sure that you've written this down, that you've put something around it to say, this is really important. I need to memorize this because it is not in the formula book. And it is something that you need to memorize. Okay. This one. This is. This is theta. Yeah. Sorry, my thetas go like. Uh, 
how do I draw them? I can't remember. Like this. And I always do L's like this, like a kind of posh looking L, because otherwise you could have L equals R theta. It looks like a one, like, just confuses me. I mean, L is such a bad letter for maths. Just looks like everything else, I think. Any questions? Yes. Why can't you do theta divided by two pi times two pi times Yeah, you can do that. Same thing. Isn't that much better? Yeah, it is much better. I like that. Yeah, it's the same thing. You can just, so you could say you're dividing it by 2 pi. Yeah, yeah, same thing. Yeah, I use that. Yeah, that's good, but you won't need that because. Because if you're doing theta divided by 2 pi and multiplying it by 2 pi r, it cancels out. So you still get the L equals r theta. But just in terms of like mem remembering it, yeah, you can say that the fraction is theta out of 2 pi. Yeah, we c and next time we do the another formula, we'll use that instead, because I like that, OK? So we're just going to apply it really quick, and then hopefully we'll have some time to do some work. I'm really sorry I've done so much talking today. I know it's a lot of concentrating for you. So here it says, find the length of the arc of a circle of radius 5.2 centimetres, given that the arc subtends an angle of 0.8 radians at the centre of the circle. Well, it's just a load of language that's trying to sound confusing. But it's telling us we've basically got an arc of a circle, basically like a kind of pizza slice. So draw a sketch. Um, the radius is 5.2, so I can put that in there. And it says the angle is 0 0.8, and we want to find out the length of the arc. So the length of the arc is the radius multiplied by theta, so it's 5.2 times 0 0.8, which is whatever that is. 12.16. I was going to say, how could it be 12? <laughs> so it's 4.16 units. Is it centimeters? Thank you, Sam. Centimeters, because the question's in centimeters. <laughs> Problem, boys? OK. So I said here, this doesn't even require your calculator to be in radians mode, because you're not doing sine, cos, or tan of an angle. You're literally just multiplying things together. And if you were to try and convert this into degrees, and then do it like the GCSE way, you'd still come up with 4.16 centimeters. OK? Right, let's have a look at this. So an arc AB of a circle with radius 7 centimeters and center O has a length 2.45, find the angle subtended by the arc at the center of the circle. Again, it sounds confusing, but it's just going to be having some kind of shape like this. The arc is called AB, and the center is O, and the radius is 7 centimeters. The arc length, uh, does it say that? Yep, the arc length is 2.45 centimeters, and we want to find the angle AOB, AO. B, so pretty easy. We know that length equals r theta. So we've got uh, 2.45 equals 7 theta. So 2.45 divided by 7 is theta. How much? 0 0.35. Is that just a two significant figures, or is it exact? Exact. And so if you wanted to, you could write radians, or you can just leave it. You can that the C, but I hate the C because it almost looks like that. I don't know why it's C. Actually, that's a good question. I would just personally, I would leave it like this. Pardon? Because it's not degrees; it's radians. Because 0 0.35 degrees, Chaz, would be like. Can you imagine how small 0 0.35 degrees is? Just don't write anything. Just leave it as 0 0.35. How are, you guys, how are you so excited about units? Like, everyone's now like, oh, yeah, like different units. Oh, let's talk. OK, we have got two more examples. I'm really sorry that this is still going. Most of them are going to be pizza slices. 
So here we have an arc AB of a circle with center O and radius R. So it tends an angle of theta radians. And we want to find a perimeter. Sorry, the perimeter of the sector AOB is P. Express R in terms of P and theta. So if they're asking us about the perimeter, obviously we need to know something about how long this is here. How long is this section over here? No, no, no. Just in terms of what we've got so far. If I said to you, how long is this? You could tell me. R theta. Who said R theta? Motseb? Ishak. This is R theta, right? Because it's the length of the arc. So what's the perimeter of this shape? It's 2R plus R theta. But careful what the question wants. The question wants us to express R in terms of P and theta. So if they want us to express R, that means we don't want P as the subject. We want R as the subject. How do I make R the subject? Factorize. When I factorize, I get 2 plus theta. And then to make R the subject, I just divide it by 2 plus theta. So it's simple, but it's just everything's algebraic for this. OK, and if you haven't fallen asleep yet, we've got one more example. And then I won't be talking as much next lesson, because I did a and exercise A and B, because we skipped them. I've just been lecturing you this whole time. OK, last one, guys. Now, this is, this is a bit more puzzling, OK? So I'm going to want us to have a little, be, be careful about what we're looking at here. This kind of feels like one of those GCSE questions where they're talking about garden ponds, OK? So we've got the border of a garden pond consists of a straight edge, AB, of length 2.4 metres. Sorry. This wouldn't be a very good garden pond, would it, if they were all in centimetres? Um, and a curved part, C, as shown in the diagram. The curved part is an arc of a circle, center O, and radius 2 meters. Find the length of C. So we want to find out the length of this curved part of the pond here. Now, just a little bit on language. Um, this circle that I've got, looks like this kind of shape, there's this arc, but there also potentially, if it was all the way around here, there could be this little arc at the bottom. There's two arcs for the same circle. This one is called the minor arc, and this one is called the major arc. So this is a major arc because it's big. So if I was to refer to it, I would say it was a major arc, just in case that language comes up. It just kind of makes sense, though, doesn't it? Now, if I'm trying to find the length of this, I need to know two things. If I'm trying to find the length of C, I need to know two things. I need to know what? I need to know R, and I need to know theta. Do I know what R is? Yeah. What? Do I know what theta is? No. So that's what this, this is actually asking me to do, is find out theta. How am I going to find out theta? So someone's saying cosine rule. You're right, we could do cosine rule, because I've got 2, 2, and 2.4. So I've got three sides, and I want to find a third one. But I don't like the cosine rule, because it's long. OK, we can do Sokotoa instead, because I've put up here, tip. Trigonometry on right angle triangles is always simpler than using the sine rule or the cosine rule. So I'm just going to draw this triangle that I've got here. I'm going to just, for one second, it's not a right angle triangle. No, it is not a right angle triangle. But trust me for a second. Shh, 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 shh. How can I make a right angle triangle? Very good. Because right angle triangles are so much better. <laughs> So there wasn't a right angle triangle, but now there is. So I know that this is 2. So what's this? 1.2. And which angle am I interested in? This one or this one? The top one. OK, I'm going to call this one alpha. How do I find out what alpha is? Um, sine. Because <laughs> we've got the opposite over the hypotenuse. So I know that the sine of alpha is the opposite over the hypotenuse. So alpha is arc sine, or the inverse sine, you know, sine minus 1 on your calculator of uh, 0.6. Now your calculator has to be in radians mode. So can you find out the inverse sine of 0.6? That's cool. Give me some of the long number. 
0.6435, blah, blah, blah. Now, how am I going to find out what theta is? I want to find out what this big angle at the top is. How am I going to find out what theta is? I will have to double it, yeah. 2 pi minus double that. Yeah, so Haroon started off by saying 360, didn't he? And he corrected him. Someone did. And oh, sorry. No, no, I'm not trying to get anyone in trouble. I'm saying it's good to say 360, because the whole thing is 360. But then you correct yourself, and you change it to 2 pi. Shh. And you're going to take away two of the alphas. Are you with me? Yeah? And you're going to take away two of those alphas. So you're going to do 2 multiplied by pi, and you're going to take away two of these, and that will tell you what theta is. Anyone done it? 4.99618. And so to find out the arc length, which we've got from up here, the arc length of C is going to be 2 multiplied by theta. So double that, and we get... 9.99 to three significant figures. Yeah. So 9.99 meters. And if this was a GCSE question, you'd yeah, be like, oh, they should probably go to the shop and buy five packs of tiles to go around the outside. And do they have enough money? They won't do any of that at A level. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, so there is a question for you guys to have a go at here. I'll leave it on this page. Um, and then after we've done that, we're going to do exercise 5C for homework. Okay, very good question just before I stop here. Listen up, please. Why did this question have to be in radians? The reason it had to be in radians is... It didn't have to be in radians. You're right, it did not have to be in radians. However, this formula is so neat and quick. If you do it in radians, you're not having to do any dividing by 360 to get the right proportion of things. And also because it's year 13, and if you come up a question like this in the exam, it will be radians and not degrees. You're right that it doesn't have to be. I'm just kind of exposing you to this formula. And later on, the stuff we do has to be in radians. Okay? But very good question. Yeah, Chaz. What's that sign there um, on the above 4.99? This here. This is 2. This is a 2 alpha, but it, looks, it doesn't look like a 2 anymore, does it? Alpha is this angle that we worked out here. So this is alpha, this is alpha, and that was theta. So they, these were alphas. I should probably make those look a bit more like twos. OK. So you can have a go at this question that you've got here. And if you're watching this back, I will put the answers up now so you can have a look. Thank you.